Hello and welcome back, this is Distotted and we are going to fight Rubicant. This is actually take two. He restores you to full HP and MP before the fight, so you don't have to go back and rest. Just to save if you want. Reason I did another take was because during the first take, I found an awesome new way to beat him. And also, I got messaged on Skype while I was recording and forgot to go away. Or do not disturb, whatever it's called. He'll just use fire attacks on you and that, which will do a ton of damage, but not to Cecil and Kane for some reason. Whenever he has his cape, he's wrapped in his cape like that, he will absorb all elements, all well, the basic ones at least, fire, ice, and thunder, also water, but he doesn't absorb bio. So you can use that on him whenever you want, but if you try and exploit his fire weakness, he even absorbs ice. So that problem. So that won't work unless you time it just right so that you get it on him when his cape's open. And Shiva doesn't do that much more damage than Bio. It does like 3,000 something instead of 2,000. And that's when, that's when you're exploiting a weakness. I know that summons are usually supposed to be for multiple targets. That's gonna smart. Yeah. I think the reason it doesn't instantly kill Cecil is because he has protection from fire, and that counts as a fire attack. Same with Kane, but it will one-shot Rydia, Rosa, or Edge. They better heal Rydia. High Potion. Let's see if we can get off of Shiva. Just for the hell of it. Come on, use Flame Dragon, use Flame Dragon. Uh, Cure 3. Oh! Well, I'll show you what happens if you miss. Don't worry, he won't absorb 3,000 something damage. And just to mock us, he casts the same element on himself to heal. Looks like we are a couple seconds early on summoning Shiva. I'd like to get off Shiva at least once during this fight. And I really hope I can get this fight in within 11 minutes. Which is obviously YouTube's time limit. Edge is gone. What really sucks is you can't just bring them back to life because they'll use his multi-target fire spell and Cecil can't protect from magic attacks, just physical. Yeah, everyone besides Cecil and Kane is taking significantly more damage. Even though it's not that much for multi-target fire, and he uses his flame dragon, it's the difference between life and death. I guess Rydia resists it pretty well too. Oh wait, why was I wanting him to use flame dragon? He uses that when his cape is open, not closed. So, yeah, Cecil and Kane can usually survive Flame Dragon, but anyone else is toast. All toasters toast toast. And obviously Cure won't work on Kane because he's in the air. He'll drain from him. Wow! That hit a lot harder than it usually does. Gonna wait a bit. Now. 
it must be that more of his hits actually hit the enemy. You don't actually get to see the hit count, how many hits you got off. You might just get Shiva on him. Unlike the first three Final Fantasy games where it clearly shows you how many hits. This is gonna hurt for him. Ahaha! <laughs> and he, he hurts himself some more. That's awesome. Uh oh, Cecil's probably gone. Or I guess not. But yeah, that was like 6,000 damage from that one summon and his extra Ice 2 spell. So I guess it's risk versus reward. You can use a spell that will always damage him, or use a spell that might damage him or heal him a bit, but it does a lot more damage. I don't know the exact range, because I only had it hit one time in Take 1, and it was for like 3100, but this time it was for 4700-something. But Bio does around 1500-2000, that area. Should be able to get him soon. This fight actually lasts longer than fight against Edge's mom and dad, king and queen, but I guess it's just that this fight doesn't seem as long because it's not as boring, I mean, you're always having to heal people, and it's actually challenging. I guess Ridia isn't res resistant to fire after all. Edge is not that useful. I know this is his fight and all, but he is not useful. His dark command will do about as much damage as Bio. So I'm only going to revive him if I have pretty much nothing else to do. We got him. All right. It gained a level. Shadow Needle was learned. I'll have to look up what that does. I don't use his Jutsu that often. Oh yeah, that's right. We have a cutscene after this too. We gotta hurry this up. Don't want this episode running long. Had too many episodes running long recently. He killed him. We've been over this before. He's in our party, the main party of an RPG. He can't just sit on a throne and do nothing. Because that would make a bad game. We've been over this with Cecil. Okay, but the crystals are going to have to wait for next time. I will see you then.